Today, I have a special, awesome guest, wonderful nurse, been a nurse for a long time. He knows his stuff, Mr. Charles Drummond. He's the clinical nurse manager of Merit at Meritus Medical Center. And his focus is mainly behavioral health, even though he's been a nurse a long time, other arenas as well, but behavioral health is where he's focused on right now. So welcome, Charles. What's up? How are you? <laughs> Pretty good. Not much. It's the day is my birthday, though. Oh, um, happy birthday to you! Okay, and you you took time to spend with me. Oh my God, I am honored. Mm. <laughs> right now, <I> feel special. <laughs> okay, so um, tell the students uh, first of all why you even became a nurse. What made you come into this field? Wow. So anyway, <laughs> I started out when I was eighteen. I joined the military. Okay. Far from being a nurse, I was a field artillery. So that's basically the same thing as infantry mm -hmm. and knew nothing. I had a roommate and he told me he was getting out and he was going to become a nurse. And I looked at him like he was crazy. I said, you know, they don't have no men as no nurses. Where you, are you coming from with this? And then he just started talking. I was like, yeah, good for you then. I thought he was, something was wrong. So, okay. And he, uh, he went on his merry way. I don't, I hadn't heard from him since. And when I then when I got out, I went to the National Guard and somebody brought up the uh, idea of we need LPNs in the service. This is when it was a really bad. It was a really big need for, for nurses. So I said, maybe somebody's trying to tell me something. This is the second time I heard. So I rose my hand and that's how I got into it. And it seemed like uh, it was a calling. I didn't even know how much money we were gonna, I was going to make. I would have been satisfied with nine bucks an hour. Whoa! As an LPN, so okay. Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> so when I got out, the first job I had it was make, making eleven dollars and fifty cents an hour. But what? And but what year was that? Because that gives that was in that was in ninety. Money was worth more. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, that was in ninety four. So okay. I think we could have been we could have been paid more than that in ninety four. Yeah. yeah. When I graduated, I that was I took a job making eleven fifty, and worked my way up from there. So. Ooh. Yeah. But that so was an LPN, right? It was LPN. Okay. So I don't know a lot about that. But when you became an RN, which is really close after that, what was the right? And, yeah. And, you know, it was just that I saw that as an LPN, there was not a whole lot of uh, upper mobility. Exactly. Um, all you were going to be was working in the nursing home. And I wanted more out of it. Um, so I went back to school. Mm -hmm. School didn't come very easy for me. I had to work very hard. And, oh, um, but I had to get, when I got through, I got through, I was very happy, but unbeknownst to me, it was more stress. It's much more stress being an RN than it is an LPN and so forth. You're responsible for so much more. Uh, I, I feel work. like I'm in the church. I'm about to say preach, but go ahead. Well, yeah, but it's, it's the so truth. truth. And, so um, telling the truth. It's, 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 uh, that's a lot of responsibility in being a nurse. If you take it seriously. And you really care about the patients, and you do you want to do the right thing. It's it's uh, 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 it's a heavy load to carry, mm. but you feel so uh, you get so much out of it as well. You know, so it's a lot of self gratification, and you get to be personable with people, and it, and it's fun. Some some of the things I like, and I didn't have to become a nurse to do that. So, but I'm glad I could use those talents in this field. Awesome. So, why behavioral health? So be, behavioral health. Um, uh, I did ED. I did a, I, I did a whole whole lot of things. But the first job I had was uh, with a group home, a bunch of kids um, that came from you know some terrible backgrounds, and I just had a whole lot of fun talking to them and being the big brother or giving them advice, and <clears throat> it just I don't know. I guess it just spawned from there. So, um, but even though I didn't even get into mental health after that, I went right into the long-term care. Right. So I just use those skills everywhere I go. The same skills I use in long-term care, the same skills I use when I worked in ICU, ED, or the same exact ones I use in behavioral health. And I think, um, you know, it just made me a really good, I feel like I'm a good nurse. You and are I'm good. Really I've got to work with this guy. I've got to work with him. I got that privilege at least what, maybe two or three times, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Somewhere yeah. in um, what year was that? This is twenty three now, so last year. Yes, right. And um, he's awesome, guys. He's wonderful. 
Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I, you know, I, you know, I don't, I'm not stuck in behavioral health. I think that I'm much more useful in behavioral health, and I feel like I've been more helpful to people here. Behavioral. Health. I've had, uh, I've been to so many different places, and um, I think you know the more the most fun I've had was when I was in the military as an LPN and working on the different departments there because uh, you work everywhere. They don't, they don't even care. You need to go. You work at an ICU today, <laughs> so I, I picked up a lot and I just learned to. Uh, to uh, just do what I have to do to, to get by. And I'm not the expert in everything, right. but if I have issues, I, I know where to go, go find them and do the right thing. So. So just do me a favor here. Tell them since you've already worked on multiple other units as well, um, let the students know the huge difference in your opinion between behavioral health, a unit like behavioral health versus a metrics unit ER, well, don't let's talk about the ER. Oh my God, the ER is everywhere. Like a regular metric unit. So I don't know if it's good or bad. I guess it depends on your type set. Okay. Uh, when you work in med surge, things are protocols. For a broken leg, this is what you do. For a wound, this is what you do. If a person has a UTI, this is what you do. This is the antibiotic you use. If a person comes in with pneumonia, you know, in the ED, you know, you have to start the antibiotics it's before, I mean, after you get your your blood cultures, blah, 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 blah. Everything's protocol. It's, mm -hmm. it's written. As a as in a site, you have to think out of the box. Mm -hmm. So you really, and you have to be constantly changing the way you do things. You have to constantly self-assess mm -hmm. because you don't know where this person is coming from mm -hmm. you don't know what they're dealing with and you can't put your you can't handle a situation the way you handle your own situations because this is a whole totally different person a whole different mindset so you're going to have to be accepting of a lot of things um you know this is mental health is changing and changing as you go and you can offend someone very easily in mental health very easily it is the most underserved group out of all the other units, um, you're dealing with addictions, you're dealing with everything. And also the unfortunate thing is everything is thrown on one unit. You're dealing with depression, schizophrenia, psychosis, all on the same unit. So if you can just imagine having an old lady that's depressed that her husband is not, and then you have this guy that's 250 pounds and he's psychotic, uh -huh. and how, that, how you have to coordinate that to make sure everyone is safe, everyone's getting treat, proper treatment, it's a very, I think it's probably the most mentally challenging area that you would be in. Right. Yeah. And My like, opinion. Yeah. yeah and just <laughs> add to that he's also dealing with uh, people with multiple personality disorders. People that's bipolar. You don't know if they're up, you know, they're, they're on their high that day or they're on their low that day. So you kind of have to adjust each day with your patients, and each patient is in a different realm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And, and people look at mental uh, yeah. health. They think it's easy, but. Um, it is not. If, if if you if you think it's easy and you don't know what you're doing, it could be the worst day of your life right. <laughs> in this, in this right. hospital. But yeah. when you know how to handle things and you got your wheels turning the way they need to be, it could be a real good, fulfilling day. Yeah, we do have our days, um, when, especially when someone just makes one wrong word yeah. and it's over. <laughs> so, so yeah, so that's uh, that's that's the biggest difference. As far as the skill set, when you lose your skill, when when I worked on the med surge units, when I did, all, I never lost any of those skills. I'm not gonna say I'm just as fast or just as efficient as a med surge nurse, but after a couple of days getting back in the groove, it's, I haven't lost anything. So one thing I'm gonna add, just for the students who haven't really come out into the field yet, so they, you know, trying to give you even more of a comparison, using the med surge units and other units, you're actually really at the bedside per se doing one-on-one, -on -one, touching the patient and, you know, whether it's wound care or bathing them or whatever. And psych is a little bit different. A lot of times you're not even in the patient's room, correct? Correct. Um, but you can find yourself at the bedside a lot of times because it depends on what level of care that you're in. Mm -hmm. Right. That, you know, uh, um, you know, somebody's child could be dying, anything. Mm -hmm. You could be right at the bedside. You may have to hold someone's hand, you know? Right, right. You know, but uh, I haven't, uh, we try to avoid those situations as much as possible and try to take care of things before they get to that level. But mm -hmm. um, 
you know, we do whatever we're what a, what is called for us to do because we're we're the um, the main point of contact. You know, the doctors have their job and we have ours, and sometimes we have to, you know, think outside of the box. Sometimes, so we find ourselves in uh, situations that may be different. Yeah. You know, yeah. So we can be at the bedside. Don't 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 think not because we have people that that are total care that come in on the mental health unit. Mm -hmm. so we're at there again we're at the bedside mm -hmm. you might have to catheterize somebody you never know IV you never know right and definitely I am so oh my god <laughs> so what type so, of unit specifically are the ones that you're not at the bedside and they're coming out to get their medicines at the front desk and everything mm -hmm. like that tell the students a little bit about that type of cycle so yeah um usually a lot of places have gotten away from the patients coming up to the window but there is, is a nursing station and there is a window because someone could come up and ask for a PRN. Mm -hmm. But they prefer nurses now to be more involved in what's going on on the unit, per se, because you can get into a habit of um, being away from the patients mm -hmm. um, because they have their, if there are no groups going on and um, or anything like that, you're going to, nurses find themselves behind a nursing station not interacting with, with the patients. Mm -hmm. So now, a days, we want the nurses to be more involved in what's going on out, yeah. out on the unit. So we're out there with the patients. So if they have any medical, uh, what if they say that I'm anxious, is there something I can take as a PRN? Um, we're out there on the floor. So the patients not, not, are not looking for us. Yeah, a lot has evolved in the last 10, 20 years. Right. <laughs> From right what there. I've seen when I started two decades ago. <laughs> yeah. But that's so, awesome. Yeah. yeah, so all of my nurses... We have our nurses station, and you, when you come on our unit, you won't find one nurse behind the nurses station unless they're going to get a medication. And that's not all facilities, guys. I'm just telling you, but that's and awesome. Well, we well in the hospital the as a whole, just take it up to a new level, and that's awesome for them. That's a wonderful, wonderful right? Thing. You know, the hospital as a whole, this uh, hospital assaults are bad. That's like probably one of the number one things. Mm -hmm. But when you come, when you factor in behavioral health, you can see where you can have an increase in assaults because you have psychosis mm -hmm. and you're dealing with a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. So we had 76 on our behavioral health unit last year. And since then, we've had like 25. And I think the biggest change is us being out on the floor and being involved. Yeah, That's more interactive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more interactive. Absolutely. That's awesome. So, yeah. so I didn't mean to take over. You go ahead. <laughs> No, I love it. Oh my God, I love it. This is this is thing, guys. I, I asked him on this show because for my students, because I, I did psych nursing with ER. So as you guys know, especially I know he knows that sometimes in the ER, you have a whole separate unit for your psych patients. And even if that's not a psych hospital, they have what we call a layover or a holdover. So that person still needs to be evaluated by the case manager, whoever is coming to see this patient and deciding what hospital they are going to be going to, which is best for them and their care. And a lot of times on the weekend, that doesn't happen a lot. You have to wait until Monday. So I may have a patient maybe Friday night and they're with me that whole weekend. So I did that type of psych nursing, which is still a combination of everything, but they're deciding which type of hospital they should be in, what type of facility they should be. If that's not, my hospital was not geared for that specifically. So we kept all of our psych patients in the ER unit. Um, but this guy, he is psych through and through in addition to tons of other uh levels of nursing and he's the manager for goodness sake i mean he know he knows his stuff so what better person to have on here but uh but charles yeah thank you again charles i know you took a lot of time out of your oh, it's his birthday that's right happy birthday to you oh my god yeah. <laughs> okay, i mean we done all we done already oh my um one last thing i just want you to um give words of advice or what you think the best word of advice is for a, a fresh new grad just came out of nursing school. You know, they had their clinicals, obviously, but they haven't gotten their feet wet yet, really on any real particular unit, but they want to go into psych. What advice could you give them for that? Oh. So if they want to go into psych. Hmm. And they haven't um, what you I think experienced that, anywhere else. Right. And I think that just uh, being observant um, mm -hmm. is the number one thing. Um taking it in, uh, take your time um, because you can get run away from the profession very easily. And I don't care what, what profession you're going, ICU or what have you. This is a very challenging um, area to get into. 
Can you give them an example uh, of challenging? Give them an example of challenging. So, cha uh, cha like you said, they have no experience. So, my thing, as far as how I I feel like I've survived, is I've learned how to do uh, be a good team player. And if you're lacking team player skills, you better get on get on your job because you know? yeah, because <laughs> when so the true. nurses find out that every you're not unit, a every <laughs> unit. <laughs> when they find out you're not a team player, they're gonna mm -hmm. they're gonna just sit back and say, "Okay, it's gonna be your turn one day. We're gonna see, and right. you're gonna be stuff is just gonna be flying everywhere for you." And we we as nurses, we help out each other, and you can well, see one better family does. That's family. right. Yeah, and once you got a couple of good nurses that you know on your side, they got your back. It makes it so much easier to walk into work that day, and it's gonna make it much so much easier when you leave work. You know, yeah. So yeah, I would say that would be my best advice, and you know, put all your personal issues behind you, put them in your back pocket when you come to work. Check it at the and, door before you walk right. in the building. That's what I do. And, and, and get Check along it with the door. it. Get to know your nurses because yeah. I don't know where you guys are from, but in, in this area where I am, we have people from all walks of life. And the most important thing is, is us getting to know each other, find out that if you don't know a particular person, find something out about that person and, and develop some kind of a relationship because it's a very difficult business. Yes. It's not easy. And yeah. think you don't think you know everything because you oh, don't. You'll never know everything, guys. <laughs> You're always learning, always learning, you know. Oh, yeah. my God. So, <laughs> that's it. This, that teamwork. And yeah. and um, always uh, learning, learn new things on your own. Don't wait for the facility to teach things. Yeah, That's be the proactive, other thing. proactive guys. Because things change. We're just we're second probably to the computer field, and you know how fast things change in the computer field uh, overnight. Yeah. overnight. And when you're a nurse, it, it, we we walk hand in hand with them, so things change. We're always finding out better ways to do things and things we didn't know. So always stay up on the latest. Just curious, at Meritus, um, you had a fresh new grad coming in. How long is your orientation program for a new graduate? Um, so, yeah, you? they have a nurse residency program, and that is a year long. Okay. Okay. So at least six weeks of orientation on the unit. And even after that, they're babying you along. If you don't feel like you're ready to take a full team, they'll give you more time. Um, but the thing is, we're working very hard to keep nurses in the field. Um, this is why we have that nurse residency program. And um, so, yeah, so we work real hard at it. We don't we don't push people over the edge. We do what we need to do to get them ready. And here, guys, just so you guys, well, the students should know this by now, but the, the nurse residency program is a state mandated thing as well, especially for oh. teaching hospitals. Um, I mean, I graduated what 98 and you graduate but from RN in 97, but he was a nurse before that as well. Um, that wasn't a mandate then, but it is now. So, um, which is actually a good thing for you guys is going to really help you to um, zone in on your skills and get all the assistance you need where we were kind of on our own. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. so, um, either you knew yourself or you didn't, <laughs> you know? So, uh, yeah. So that that's awesome. That's great to know. Okay. Thank all you right. so much and happy birthday again to you. I appreciate it. And if we could have rescheduled. Oh my God. This is your birthday. No, no. Um, I don't I stopped having birthdays a long time ago to be honest. See, he's a typical nurse. <laughs> <laughs> They're like holidays, what's that? Birthday, what's mm -hmm. that? We everything is about our patients and hospitals never close at 24 hours, seven days a week. So that's right. Someone's gotta be there, birthday or not, holiday or Somebody not. Somebody has to. Somebody gotta be here. You can't just yeah. be empty hospital, everybody to the left. We tell the patient we see you when we come back. It don't work that way. That's right. Jobs that close up completely on holidays. We can't do that. Okay. So I'm seeing you. All right. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much. So guys, I know you appreciated having him. I did as well. And um, thank you so much. And we'll see you next time. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.